Hey guys, Final Flame here. So today, uh, as many of you guys may already know, you saw some Sumeru shenanigans and I saw a bit too. And I know I promised on this channel I wouldn't really talk about leaks and I'm not going to disclose any information that's going to really spoil you too much, but there is something I do feel should be talked about before, uh, you know, Sumeru gets released and just discussed as a community. So as you guys know, it's obvious I'm a Black Genshin content creator. Uh, I don't know that many other Black Genshin content creators, so hopefully they may share their opinions in the future. It's up to them, but I want to share mine on the case of Sumeru, Sumeru's uh, characters' skin colors. Like, I've seen up to six Sumeru characters. The first one I've ever known about is Sinnoh. As many of you guys already know, Sinnoh is a bit tan, so I'm not even gonna say anything about Sinnoh. We claim those, you know? We claim what we can get. But I've seen five other Sumeru characters so far for this upcoming, you know, region. And all five of them are white as snow, man. And I was kind of confused because I was expecting a little bit of melanin. Not for all of them, just maybe one or two. Shoot, even just one, you know, other than Sinnoh. Now, again, this is just the first wave of Sumeru characters. But I'm kind of scared that Sinnoh might only be the only representation we get for the Sumeru region, for, you know, people of darker skin color. And the thing is this, I'm not trying to be unreasonable. I understand it's China. I understand that they deal with the CCP. I understand Hoyoverse might have their hands tied behind their backs. But this game is loved on such a global scale. It just doesn't make sense to at least have some representation for a region that is based on Egypt slash Arabia. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, I'm not asking for anybody as dark as me. No, nope, not even close. All I was really asking for was, okay, maybe we get a one, like three or four characters in Sumeru that are as dark as Zinyan or Kaya. That's it. I said three or four characters from as dark as Zinya or Kaya for coming from the Egypt slash Arabia region where there's supposed to be deserts and sun. Lots of it. Lots of it. And now I understand Sumeru is supposed to be like half forest, half sun. 100% I understand that. But I feel like there should be at least some representation. And again, it doesn't have to be as dark as me. I'm not asking Hoyoverse to go that far. I understand that. Black people were not viewed upon very, you know, nicely by China's government. I get it. I've, I've seen different promotionals in China and how they change things. I've seen it. But I was really hoping that with this game that is loved on such a large scale, that there would actually just be some representation. Just some. I'm not asking for much. And again, I'm not going to sit here and try to call Hoyoverse racist or anything. Hoyoverse has done an amazing job at showing so many different cultures. I mean, Mondstadt's supposed to be based on Europe slash Germany. It's uh, uh, Liyua's China, Inazuma's Japan. And someone who's coming up, it's supposed to be uh, Egypt slash Arabia. Fontaine's supposed to be France. It seems like Natlin might be Native American, you know, like Native Americans. And we already know it's not as Russia. So, Cultural diversity, they've done a great job. I give, I, I tip my hat to them on that one, 100%. That's awesome. Because many games don't even do that. They don't. Let's be honest. Many games don't even do that. But I was really, really hoping that we would at least see some darker skin tones once we got to Sumer. And again, I'm not trying to ask for all of them to be darker. Again, just out of 20 characters, Three or four. That's it. But now I'm actually worried that Sinnoh might be the only one at the end of the day. And that that's kind of it's just it's just kind of sad. You know what I mean? 
with all the people who love this game of so many different cultures, so many different backgrounds, it would just be nice for them to have a little representation within the game. And we're not even asking for too much, I think. But you know, at the end of the day, maybe Natlin will be the place where we'll get to see a lot more darker skin. I don't know if you guys know about Murata and the children of Murata. They have darker skin. We saw Ian Sun in the Tavat preview. She had darker skin. So maybe due to Natlin being in more of a volcanic region, we're going to see all the, a lot more melanin. Maybe that's where all the melanin's at. All the melanin's in Natlin. That'd be dope. Because I'm a pyro dude. You know me. If all the melon is in that land, I'm, I'm going there, <laughs> you know? Well, I'm going there regardless, but if it's there, I'm definitely going. But it's just like, dang, man. I was really expecting a lot from this region. As I said, I, I'm African. I was really looking forward to like the closest African representation in the game for me region-wise, which is Sumeru. And I was like, dang, man, maybe we're going to, you know, we're finally going to get to see a little bit of a, you know, a little skin diversity within the game. That would be nice. Just a little bit of representation, not much. Again, I'm not asking for them to go this far. Just as far as they did with Kai or Zin Yan. That's it. That, I, I would be happy with that. You know? But again, at the end of the day, unfortunately, Hoyoverse might be dealing with the red tape that is the CCP. They might not be able to do much, if anything. But I do hope that Holyoverse is at least putting in the effort and that we do see more characters like Xinyan or Kaya or Sinnoh within the Sumeru region. Because if we're not going to see them, especially in like Sumeru or even Natlin, where are we going to see them? You know what I mean? But hey, that's what it is. At the end of the day, though, I still love this game and I would love to play it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to hate on the game, but I really hope Hoyoverse is just trying, trying their best to, you know, give us a little bit, just a little bit. We're not asking for too much. I think I love the game, man, and I don't think I've been unreasonable. Anyway, y'all, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm still hyped for Sumeru, don't get it twisted. Hopefully this video ages poorly and maybe the other characters in Sumeru, there's quite a bit of melanin in there, you know? Maybe some tans, I'm just asking for a light tan, you know, I'm not asking for too much. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm just a, a bit sad that there really didn't seem to be much so far in this uh, first wave of characters that we've seen, but I have hope. I don't think we should give up yet. It's not over till it's over, you know? But yeah, just just keep an eye out on these Sumeru characters. I'm kind of worried about it. It's just, it's just a little disheartening. That's it. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, Embers. Sorry if this brought down your mood. I just felt like it needed to be talked about a bit. Other than that, though, take it easy. Keep burning bright. And let's home. I stay cooking in the stove like I'm John Lane. Get too close, I put that flame on you like the town lane. Try to run, you won't get far. My guy, you got sniper aim. One day when we find our sibling, we'll see brighter days. Yeah, yeah. Wishing for brighter days. Wishing for finer things. Like a five star name. Yeah, I'm addicted to pain.